You're just in time. Everyone is asking this IPC goon for an explanation. Uh, calling someone an IPC goon isn't very becoming of a cloud night now, is it? I'm not here today as a representative of the IPC. I'm just a tourist. You could just call me Scott. I, I have no quarrel with you. <laughs> Can't a man come here to deliver a package without being surrounded? There's something wrong with the stuff this guy is shipping. It's causing damage to other people's goods, and our dock here is liable for the compensation. Ah, uh, speak louder. Uh, I can't quite hear you. Is this how you treat guests in our room, Alley? Let's open that package right here, right now. Then we'll see what he's hiding. Uh, I'd be careful if I were you. If you damage my goods, you'll have to pay for them. Ah, <laughs> did I hear that right? He said he can afford to pay for it. What a surprise. No need to make this difficult. Let's open it. Let's check and see if there's anything suspicious. with this ingenium so that it caused damage to other goods on the freight skiff. Uh, speak louder. I can't quite hear you. Conclusive evidence? Deny? Here, look carefully. This old piece of junk doesn't even belong to me. What? If you don't believe me, just ask the dock workers. Uh, if I may, he's telling the truth. This golden cloud toad does not belong to Mr. Scott. And then why was the toad here in the first place? Uh, that's your problem, not mine. Now, let me ask you a question. My vase was almost smashed to pieces. What do you say about that? Oh, you wanted it to be broken? After making a big scene like that, don't you owe me an apology? I... I guess we do. Well, are you going to apologize or not? Sorry, sir. For this kind of barbarity, a single apology won't ever be enough. Just think of this as a practice round for later. <laughs> Sorry, I should have stepped in. My mother always told me that as long as I honed my skills, I'd be able to deal with any situation. <sighs> Seems I've still got honing to do. Before the payment due date arrives, I'm going to teach you two how to fight. With words. Follow me. We're going to see the president. Old friends. Miss Secretary said that you want to learn how to get the upper hand in an argument. Is that right? The President agreed to meet with you all later, but now is not the time. The President is aware of recent events and is willing to pass on some simple negotiation skills to you. Rule one, prepare your ace card in advance. Just as Cloud Knights ready their weapons before entering battle, you should have your ace card ready before you walk up to the negotiating table. I will present you with a few items, and you need to examine them carefully. This is the box that was opened earlier at the dock, the one containing the Golden Cloud Toad. The name and contact information of the sender were deliberately crossed out, but records from the Heron Express show that the sender is Ah Feng. Rule two, play your ace card at the right time. These documents can only be truly effective when your opponent reveals a weak spot. How about this? I've prepared a little practice exercise for you. Mr. Afeng, over here, please. What exactly does the president have up their sleeve? Uh, I don't know anything. I don't have anything to say. Um, 
My name's Afang. I was the one who brought out the box containing the Golden Cloud Toad. I didn't see any boxes. Only the Golden Cloud Toad. Um, if goods need to be inspected, we remove the packaging ahead of time. You wouldn't want to do all that work yourself, would you? I, I was told to move something, and I did. I had no knowledge of the presence of an ingenium. This matter has nothing to do with me. I'm a dock worker, after all. How could I conspire with the IPC? Um, I was told to move something, and I did. I had no knowledge of the presence of an ingenium. This matter has nothing to do with me. Why do you emphasize that this matter has nothing to do with you? <sighs> I just want to avoid any misunderstanding, in case anyone has it in their head that I intentionally misplaced an item. I sense a hole in his logic. I'm a dock worker, after all. How could I conspire with the IPC? Does being a dock worker mean that person can't conspire with the IPC? Uh, everyone knows the IPC wants to use the dock debt to discredit the Merchant Guild. The Merchant Guild are the ones who gave me a job, not the IPC. Why would I side with them? I sense a hole in his logic. Um, I was told to move something, and I did. I had no knowledge of the presence of an ingenium. I think this has a lot to do with you. Records from Heron Express show that this container was sent by a person named Afung. What do you have to say about that? Uh, that... that must be some kind of mistake. All right, all right, enough already! The IPC was worried that the lease for the dock would be paid off, so they had me move some things around. Is that so terrible? Is letting the IPC take over management of Aram Alley such a bad thing? Besides, what's it to you if I make some extra money? Mr. Afung, our goal at the Merchant Guild is to help make Arum Alley a better place for everyone. Why would you work against that? Keep your heads in the sand if you like. But it's only a matter of time before Arum Alley becomes another warehouse for the IPC. That's right. You shouldn't be betraying your fellow workers for a quick profit. It seems that the truth has come out. Here is Mr. Afung's testimony. It may come in useful later. The payment for the dock is ready now. If you're ready for the next round of negotiations, come and see me at the dock. Right. That guy's gonna be sorry for everything he's done. Time we got a public apology. representative has arrived, and I've called for Miss Sequay from the Skyfaring Commission to act as a notary. Uh, remember, this is a war of words. Uh, over to you. <clears throat> Before we start, let's review the documents we have. The testimony of dock worker Ah Fung who has admitted to disrupting the normal operations of the dock in exchange for payments from the IPC. When the Arum Alley dock went up for public bid, the IPC won the bid using its interstellar trade resources and extensive capital. Then, the IPC leased the dock out to the Arum Alley Merchant Guild for management and operations. This contract can prove that the Merchant Guild has legitimate rights to operate the dock. We reached the required amount by the repayment date. This is the basis for our right to continue negotiations and is a testament to the business viability of Arum Alley. Let's go. The notary from the Skyfaring Commission is already waiting for us. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I am here to preside over the leasing dispute between the IPC and the Arum Alley Merchant Guild. Huh, is there anything left to dispute? I'll cut to the chase. The Merchant Guild should have removed itself from Arum Alley a long time ago. 
Couldn't the IPC choose a sane person to represent them? Huh? Say that a little louder. I can't quite hear you. I said the IPC should send someone else! Goodness, there's no need to shout, little Miss Feisty. My ears are ringing. Huh. You should be saving your voice for your public apology. <clears throat> As the representative of the IPC, my presence in this negotiation is legal, reasonable, and sensible. Who do you plan on sending to the battlefield? A random cloud knight? That cowardly president who's afraid to even show their face? Or how about that kid who got dragged into this fiasco at the last minute, walking around like he owes someone 50 credits? That's enough, Representative Scott. Please state the IPC's side of the case. The IPC specially leased operations of the dock to Our Room Alley Merchant Guild in the hopes of seeking common interest and development. Why couldn't the IPC operate the dock from the beginning? Oh, are you implying that the IPC was setting a trap for the Merchant Guild? You're saying the IPC leased the dock to the Merchant Guild, who mismanaged it, in order to destroy the Merchant Guild's credibility? That was definitely your plan all along. Ah, so you admit the Merchant Guild mismanaged the dock. <clears throat> this guy! The IPC specially leased operations of the dock to Our Room Alley Merchant Guild in the hopes of seeking common interest and development. But the Merchant Guild refused to cooperate with the major shops in Our Room Alley, and the once prosperous dock is now desolate. The Merchant Guild has never refused to work with any shops in Our Room Alley. Ah, never refused? Then let me ask you, how many shops are currently in your logistics network? There will be a lot more later. Later? How much later? For the Sienjo, does later mean 500 years? <laughs> Can the shop owners here wait that long? Uh, 10 years, 20 years. Psst. What should I say? Is 20 about right? But the Merchant Guild refused to cooperate with the major shops at the inefficient shipping and low volume of transactions at the Our Room Alley dock, which does not create any value at all, are clear evidence of poor management. The dock has improved shipping efficiency, and transaction volume is increasing. Ah, you guys didn't think that this transaction volume would be enough, did you? The shopkeepers in Our Room Alley aren't here to play house with you. We're all trying to turn a profit. The inefficient shipping and loaf coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability to pay the rent, we believe the Guild should voluntarily relinquish operating rights to the dock and pay additional compensation. What makes you think we can't afford to pay the lease? If you have the necessary funds, prove it. Uh, what's the coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability to pay the rent? We've, we've already paid back the lease. These are the funds from Arum Alley Merchant Guild. The guild has turned a profit and is able to pay back what it owes. What? You already paid back the lease? How? The documentation provided by Arum Alley Merchant Guild is true and credible. And according to the lease contract between the two parties, the Merchant Guild still holds the rights to operate the dock. Next order of business. The Merchant Guild has accused Representative Scott of secretly sabotaging dock operations. Do you have anything to say about that? Don't be so slanderous! Why would I stoop so low? What do the frequent accidents at this dock have to do with me? Besides, I'm not even involved in shipping operations. How could I possibly buy off a dock worker? The absurdity! Slanderous! Besides, I'm not even involved in shipping operations. How could I... We have the testimony of Afung. This testimony is concrete proof that you instructed him to sabotage shipments. But what? That little... Aren't the Xianzhou people always preaching about righteousness? Oh, I gave him all that money! And he sold me out in a heartbeat! Darn it! evidence presented is true, Mr. Scott, then this constitutes improper business practices and the Sky Faring Commission will conduct a follow-up investigation. How did this happen? How did the plan go awry? Don't forget about our bet. You have to apologize in front of 
everyone. What? Why should I apologize? Because you use dirty tricks to trample all over the honest work of others. An apology alone won't be enough to fix the damage. If it were, I'd make you do it a thousand times over. Consider yourself lucky it's just the once. <laughs> I hereby apologize to Haru Mali. Apologize to all the people of our room alley. I'm a raving idiot howling into the wind. Uh, is that really necessary? Make him bark! That's Make right. him bark! That's right! Uh, enough! Woof, 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 woof! Woof, woof! Ow! <sighs> what a clown show. This arbitration is hereby resolved. To all of you, we managed to pull through the dock's debt crisis. Worth every step. We should take advantage of the momentum to upgrade the Arum Alley dock and increase its transaction volume. I'm preparing to upgrade inventory and logistics planning. The previously idle dock is now ready for use, so come see me when you have time. The dock crisis is over for now. But the rejuvenation of Arum Alley has just begun. 